Let's make the Volkswagen Jetta more American. Recently, Volkswagen has been extremely successful in their rally efforts. They've dominated the World Rally Championship as well as Red Bull Global Rallycross. Volkswagen has a pretty strong rally history. Up until recently, the Team O'Neill Rally School still used a fleet of old Golfs and Jettas as their student cars because they're well made and can take the abuse. But what happens if you cut away a quarter of the car? I recently wrote about the Smith Ute, a conversion kit from Smith Performance that lets you turn a Volkswagen Jetta into a small pickup truck or a Ute. One of Smith's engineers, Michael Gallen, invited me to not only check out his personal Smith Ute, but to help him torture test it at a New England Region SCCA rallycross. So we're on our way up to Vermont to go do exactly that. Oh, this car actually lets you left foot brake, huh? Good. <laughs> boingy, boingy, boingy. Little slalom going now. A hard left. There we go. Snap it back. Good one. Good one. <laughs> Take it. It worked. <laughs> I never thought I'd ride in a Jetta with neutral handling. <laughs> but this is it. <laughs> It really does dig right in, doesn't it? Sweet. <laughs> oh, it's a truck. It's made for this stuff. My worst habit when I'm driving is that I try to press the button on the wheel that I thought oh. I practice with dirt. <laughs> Woo, a little too wide there. I'm able to bring it back with a little left foot braking, though. Just like that. Come on, bring it back. Oh, I don't like how I did there. I'm into slippery stuff. Oof. Oh, I'm glad that rut was there. Yeah, still not as good as him, but it's his car, so we're all good. In Rallycross, times are cumulative as though they're rally stages, so a single hero run won't win the event. As a result, I was five and a half seconds behind Michael after morning runs. That's a deficit, but it's a gap I could overcome. But before we look at afternoon runs, let's hear a little bit more about the Smith Hue and some previews of coming attractions in their lineup. So I just say this is a 1.8T? Yes. Yeah. Cool. It had some uh, PCV issues my friend Chris sorted out last night and uh, new power steering pump, new power steering line, new wheel bearing, and now we can, and we patched up the exhaust, so now we can hear all the rattles that are wrong with the suspension. Well, that's the beauty of this too. I mean, you know, up there, it's just a Jetta. So everything's standard <laughs> and common and cheap. I was looking at these on Craigslist for like 500 bucks. Oh my God, yeah. They all need a lot of work, but man, sure. you can start cheap. <laughs> We're going to do a 5 Series, the E39. Ooh. But it's, there is a, an issue with commonality. Our, our main rule is just anything that has an enthusiast base following, basically, and, and we'll, we'll cut it. But. FRS Ute. <laughs> I forgot. And four doors. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> Except maybe the new Beetle, it could be a cute truck. We consider it. It's true. One of the true. Two door trucks because people would be buying it for the express purpose of having a cute toy. Right. It's also almost functional. And <laughs> almost. Well, more functional than the rear hatch in a Beetle. I bet a Subaru kit would work well, too. Those could be popular. You've got an awful lot of, uh, that's a big enthusiast space. Yo, huge. Uh, huge enthusiast space, four doors, uh, mm -hmm. and, and it's on our list. Yeah. It's below a few other models, but it's the reason we don't, uh, we're not going to offer it right away is the price of these Subarus stays relatively high in the market. Even especially in New England. Yeah, especially New England, especially places you have snow. So when we go on Craigslist and we can't find a Subaru for less than 10 grand, yeah. we don't think it's a sort of thing that people are as likely to do as right. Ghetto or uh, in Audis, and even there's an argument that a Mercedes, even though it's fifteen thousand dollars, 
you get 500 horsepower, so let's do it. Mm -hmm. A Subaru for fifteen thousand dollars, you still have three hundred, and it's it's a good car, but yeah, it's uh it's different, different philosophy. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll have some uh, we'll have some uh, Subaru customers, but yeah. What made you guys decide to go with the uh, the Charger next? Uh, American V8. <laughs> yeah. well, and, and, you know, it, like the, the Charger was kind of supposed to be a two door because mm -hmm. it was originally a two door. Yep. And, 60s and uh -huh. and so we're making it a two door again and and the four door the the charger we're, we're doing the first one it's like been a rental car and a cop car if you look at the back end of the car the styling is not very great yeah i like the second gen styling on the back much better it's like they didn't bother finishing the front yeah, the, yeah. the first yeah, gen we'll, we'll finish it off make it look pretty again make uh -huh. it look like people are really interested and it, you, with the regular i think five seven motor you put a couple uh I think a new head-on and, and a supercharger, and, and you're pushing like hmm. some ridiculous number of horsepower, like yeah. 700, I think. And <laughs> <laughs> I nice. don't need that much power, but there are people out there who do, and I understand them. Oh, oh yeah. I like the Audi wheel. I only just noticed that. Oh, I love this thing. It's a nice improvement. They're, they're cheap. They're easy. They bolt on. Sure. Uh, the uh, airbag even plugs in. Oh, nice. It's in in like 10 minutes or less. <laughs> awesome. What's What are the uh, the body panels in the back? Fiberglass? or? Yep, it's all fiberglass. Yeah. Uh, this, this one here. That. Right behind mm -hmm. us is fiberglass. There's yep. basically four fiberglass pieces that come with the kit. There's the bedside on the right and the left. There's this rear surround that goes behind our heads. Mm -hmm. And then there's a roll pan, which is, you know, like the bumper, but it's instead of a bumper, it's just a flat. Uh, it's called a roll pan. Right. So yeah. We, we sort of borrowed the, the standard roll pan for a Ranger. Nice. The gate already. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so went with that. So it's got a little Murica in it. Yeah, you got the Ford, Ford Ranger flare side uh, gate. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, Ford Explorer Sport Track uh, taillights. Cool. And now, the conclusion. Okay. There's a rock. <laughs> this feels slippery. Yo, very slippery. How was the pedal? Not as nice as I wanted. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh! By the way, it's still slippery way in the back. The whole course that extra traction is totally sucker your butt here. Uh huh. I should have known. That was a rock. <laughs> oh, thank you, spread the corner workers. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. Okay, don't let him throw me. That's the left foot breaking for you. More turn. Round the same as you. All right. That's going to be about as close as it could be. <laughs> I have no idea who won. <laughs> Definitely up in the air, man. Thank yeah. You. That was fun. That was a blast. In the end, I clawed back more than enough time to beat Michael, but I also hit more cones than he did, which handed him the win by just two seconds. In Rallycross, control and consistency are more important than all-out speed. A Rallycross is probably the worst situation to drive a car that you cut a quarter of the body off of. But the Ute still felt just as solid as any German car should, and the 200 pounds or so missing from the back neutralized the handling, which normally tends toward understeer. I was very impressed with how well the Smith Ute performed. So was Michael. He'd never punished a Ute as much as we did at the Rallycross, but it took everything in stride. Not even the fiberglass body panel showed any signs of damage. Many thanks to the New England Region SCCA for putting on such a great event, with eight runs on one of the shortest days of the year. And a huge thanks to Michael Gallant for letting me beat on his Ute all day. He already wants a rematch, and I'll be happy to give him one.